Hello friend, welcome back to this lesson. In the last video, we have configured uh, RD Gateway Server and we have configured the certificate also. So just look at your uh, yeah, it's OK and success uh, strategy success. OK, so click the OK here. OK, now it has been succeed and click the close. If you look at here, these are the things have been configured in the server. Uh, so it's giving the server name as well as the uh, role installed role services here. Okay, if you look at these are the five uh, five things we have done over here. Now uh, I will try to access if you just open this Internet Explorer here. Otherwise, you can explore it and where we can put it the HTTPS, correct? HTTPS colon. You can provide the server name FS01. Uh, uh, fs01 uh, dot my lab dot com correct and click the uh, type the slash and you can like re web okay the center um it's uh, explore internet explorer So if you look at here now it's opening let's see what is happening here if we have configured properly definitely it will uh, open without any error yeah yeah ask me later just click continue with the website not recommended because we don't have the certificate server and we didn't do it that's the reason it came for the security perspective so you can continue anyway here so once you click over here if you look at here yeah so it is came now if you are like uh, you need to give username password it's my lab hyphen administrator and give the password okay and to the single I mean sign in here let's sign in if you look at here the calculator uh, you know paint wordpad everything is came whatever the collection is there if you look at the where it is collection if you go to the collection you can see how the quick session collection is there and uh, Look over the quick session collection. There are the three applications it is there. If you want to add any more application and you know, a publish remote application, you can do it here. You can add from here. Let's see. I will tell you how. Uh, like you know, here like you need to do. Just click go to the task here, publish remote app program here. If you click over here, it will come over the window and what are the applications is installed in the server that will show over here. Let's take uh, what are the paint, what button calculator is there, right? Uh, take the step recorder or anything you want to like server manager also we can do it might be take some time yeah these are the two program need to publish so this is how you can add the application also correct and close it it is published let's see is it published or not and as well as what we will do here like uh, sorry uh, in the same server right this menu but yeah if you look at here these are the came right this is the application scheme correct uh, so your body will do is just public, uh, you know, you know, publish here the application or the application you needed. So that will come over by the this access, web access, RE web access. Okay, this is the how we can, you know, virtualize our application, you know, remote, uh, remotely we can use the application and take the remote desktop connection also. And for the here, like how you will do it. Um, in the collection if you go the task create session collection here create 
you can uh, provide the name like uh, RDP next uh, like you need to uh, search the computer here like nothing is showing here right REP station host uh, but if it is there then you can add the computer here but as of now it's not there anything is not there so I don't require okay I just cancel it yes the session I'll show like if you go to the task edit properties in the properties uh, like here what you will do I will tell you in the quick session a uh, collection only if you go to the user group there is a domain user if you want to the domain remove the some users you want because administrator is domain user right if you want to give some specific user specific group uh, you can edit here and remove this one also so this is how we can do it here for that uh, security perspective we can do it and if you click you want to remove it you can remove and add some other users right and session also like you can provide the uh, i will explain why i'm explaining it is very important when the requirement came in front of you but you know client may be told like like in disconnect session uh, it should be a like in disconnect session it should be a never it may be one minute five minute anytime you can uh, select whether the different options are there you can do it correct and like active session limit one minute ideal session limit one minute okay and when session limit is reached the connection is broken once this one minute for the silent you will sit then the connection will be broken so automatic reconnect enable or in the sessions this is the what you can do okay if you again refresh it then automatically reconnect otherwise it in the session completely so temporary folder setting delete temporary folder setting use temporary folder setting if you want to keep the all the temporary folder it should not be deleted then you can uncheck this box and use temporary folder per partition you can do it also but if not required you can do it automatically will delete so i mean it's a housekeeping work will do automatically correct and the security if you look at your negotiated address, security layer and certificate also there are the there are more options are here you can use for the security prospective but as of now i'm using negotiate and uh, client low high these options also you can uh, choose for the encryption label okay and the load balancing also we can do this is the one server i have configured uh, you can put it other server to the for the load balancing uh, lightly okay in the client setting uh, in the client configuration there the settings are there like uh, uh, you, you want you know it should be redirect something like for this your bash machines to there uh, like in bash machines to the RDP so like audio video playback audio recording smart card you can use these options also there uh, for this connection okay and user profile text if you want to enable then you can provide the path here um, to configure okay and uh, store all user setting and data user profile is also you can add but like you can give like c you know uh, user profile okay you can give this way the path you can apply it so user profile is will be created and user profile is enable users to show setting and folder and the central location for to enable folder redirection and user profile is in a collection I think if you, if you are active, you worked in Active Directory, there is option is a folder redirection. It's a kind of group policy things. Um, it's not a, actually roaming profile. It's a kind of roaming profile we can. It will store in centrally, like uh, what document, uh, document and data will store in central sub. That's it. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see for here. Like uh, again, just refresh it. sign out and if you log in here yeah same thing came but you know like uh, we have setting some like uh, if you set in ideally for one minute then it can be a disconnect yes that will be happen over here also but these are settings you can do for the uh, rds okay so thanks for watching this uh, complete session there are the i think three or four videos okay this is the last video i have completed completely and uh, you can learn if you any questions any uh, queries you can put it in comment but do not forget to subscribe my channel your subscription will give me an to uh, 
putting more videos for your knowledge. Thank you very much.